Welcome, uh, this is module 6 means week 6 lecture and uh, we are continuing with the drawing plan and elevation all detail drawing of the gearbox. This is design of general purpose industrial helical gear reaction unit, this is part 4 the last part and today's lecture is development of plan and elevation of gear reduction unit this is part 2. And in this lecture I shall cover development of plan and elevation of reduction gear unit 2, then uh, more details of housing comprising uh, bearing housing, bearing end cover machining of housing of course, that is the essential steps I have to discuss and bearing end covers with sealing and uh, at input and output. Now, so far uh, I have shown that we have already uh, made the developed the sub assemblies of the input intermediate and output shafts and also we have started developing the plan and elevation and we have taken A0 size sheet and scale 1 is to 1. And all details uh, are uh, in third angle projection as shown below of the slides. Now, first of all going into the details of the elevations further details of the elevation and plan. Uh, let me uh, tell about the what are the process of housing machining. So, uh, first of all the housing that means upper cover and lower cover they are cast or fabricated. If the number of order is less then we make the housing by fabricating this is MS plates of main for main housing usually 5 millimeters are taken and they are cut into size and then they are welded to give the shape of lower and upper cover or bottom and top cover of the housing. Now, after um, making uh, the housing bottom and top then first the surface where they are joining say this means if we look into this elevation it will come over here say this this surface these two surfaces are machine in a planning machine ok and then um, after that there are marking and drilling that means we have to join together for further processing. So, the fixing bolts will come into the details those are for those are marking and then drill are made then they are held together by the bolts and nuts. Okay. But here one important issue is that once that bolt and nuts are opened and then again if you try to replace then will they be in the same location? Probably not. That is why what is done two holes for dowel pins that is locating pins that are also made during this process that, that the first step that marking and drilling at that first step these are made. Then the dowel pins they are put there and they with the help of bolt they are tightened. Then it is sent to the boring machines for the process of boring that all the holes bearing holes th that is this bearing holes these are made these are made and we make the holes here for tightening and dowel may be these two corners. I will show the details in the next uh, slides ok they are tightened together and then these boring holes three boring holes and also this surface machining these are done ok. This side also these are done ok. 
then um, again necessary marking and drilling that is in this say for example, the for these holes so for this uh, bolt holes this marking and done and drill tapping everything is done at that stage and then these are cleaned and it is stored it is kept aside for the assembly. Okay. So, these are the main processes we uh, need to go for the housing. Now, if we um, in, in this uh, next slides what I will show that how this further progress is done on the developing the plan and elevations or the other components how they are uh, developed first then they are made the detail drawing. So, first of all we will think of the this is the input shaft this is the input end say this is input end say this is input. Okay. And what we have put that this bearing that is the housing is made such a that the bearings are resting at these two corners. And so, therefore, we have to put a cover so that it touches here and these are firmly fixed bearing are firmly fixed axial movement are restricted. Okay. So, for that what is done a cover is put. So, this is the cover we have not drawn fully because that we will put it there and these are the bolts which will tighten that and this cover end will touch the bearing outer rest. However, as this cover is being put there we need to put also sealing of oil. So, oil should not come from outside uh, sorry uh, from inside and darts should not go inside. So, some sealing arrangement is there. Now, I will show that what are thus these sealings. So, this is sealing elements I shall discuss in the next slide how this sealing as you see here see so this tip or this tip if you consider this tip of this one that will touch the shaft here okay. and uh, as already oil is inside oil will be inside. So, that will lubricate this portions this part will remain fixed and the shaft will rotate no dart will be allowed to go inside oil will not come from the outside also. I shall discuss about the details of the ceiling in the next slide as I told you and, and this whole unit now they are put like this. Okay. As you see that everything is inside uh, a slightly distorted mm, neglect that one. So, it, uh, apparently it is showing gap here and it is showing that overlapping here, but it will be in proper place. <coughs> and then the this part is over this portion is completed. Next let us consider the seal what is the oil seal this uh, a view of the oil seal the half photographic view as you find here that this blue portion this is, this is some metal stiffener metal stiffener okay. and uh, outside that these are uh, sealing elements may be rubber nitride rubber and uh, some synthetic material which will not wear easily as well as it should not have any reaction with normal lubricant oil. And inside there this is the tube sort of things this might, might be a tube sort of uh, I mean some, some um, synthetic uh, material which can act as a spring or simply the metal spring it is something like that if you um, think of the spring used in screen that sort of spring the it is closed and that is that put here. And this stiff this is flexible say maybe 2 millimeter 
upward and 2 millimeter downward no problem. So, we can choose the set size accordingly. There is a nominal dimensions say suppose it is 24 millimeter. In that case we can make the shaft ideally 24 millimeter, but if it is made 23.7 or 24.5 the same seal will work right. Now, if we uh, look into the more details as it as you see here this is the width of the seal um, when you find a catalog manufacturers catalog of any standard these are standard age also you will find that um, this is the outside seal that will sit on the cover and uh, this is the seal width and uh, this will be the inside diameter this is called sealing edge and this is the spring groove here is spring is put um, then garter spring it is called uh, this is also a dust leaf is there this is simply touch on the um, uh, shaft and here this will touch with pressure this is sealing element and this is reinforcement ring this is usually metal it has to be metal and this is outside diameter. Okay. Uh, now, one important issue is here if we look into this suppose uh, the uh, it will put in such a way this side should be the inside of the gearbox and this is outside because due to the uh, if there is any pressure oil vapor pressure or anything that if his oil try to come this will be slightly compressed inside and this contact point will be tightened further. So, that oil will not be able to go on the other hand dust this will prevent just to al not allowing dust to come inside some uh, features this is not there only this point is there, but that will work. Now, if we look into the size of this hill if you remember uh, in lastly what we have done in input shaft we have taken the bearing is 25 millimeter we have taken 6205 that means 5 into 5 25 millimeter. So, we have two option after that bearing seating if you look into the catalog we have 22 millimeter shaft dia nominal shaft dia and 35 millimeter seal outside diameter and seal width is 7 millimeter that is available or we can go for a little higher size 24, 37 and 7. In our design we have chosen 24, 37 into 7. Here itself I mention for the output shaft the lastly what we have taken or in final decision we have taken there 6209 that is the diameter on which the bearing is sitting that is 45 millimeter. So, next to that one is 45 is available next to that 42 is available. Okay. So, we have taken 42, but we have taken 42 into 72 into 8 there is a smaller size also 42, 68 and 8 you will find in some other bearings if it is the bearing outside diameter is small we have to go for small size outer dia ceiling in that case perhaps we could have taken 42 into 68 into 8, but in this case we have taken 42 into 72 into 8. So, this bottom one uh, for the input shaft and uh, here uh, this bottom one for the output shaft. Now, output shaft in the same way if we look into this, this is the cover and then we put the seal. Uh, this is not properly drawn, uh, but the seal will come inside we can put the seal. Again you can notice it that this is inside, this is the inside of the gear box. We should not put in the reverse way, then there will be problem dust will come inside oil will go out. So, that care must be taken and this we will see it here if you look into this oil seal simply it is press fitted 
inside the cover and if you look into this cover also in this cover there usually a gap will be there sometimes in the cover itself a another groove is put like this like a trapezoid it is something like this groove made on the cover here here and that groove is filled with grease that is another precaution not to allow to dust come inside okay but care uh, you have to take care of that during inspection you can put further a little bit grease just keep in mind outside there will be coupling maybe you have to use a grease gun to put the grease here okay so in that way we uh, maintain the um, sealing of oil not to go outside and dust not to come inside then this is just we have shown the elevation part of the uh, this one this elevation half elevation that it will look something like this uh, from from this side okay so um, here i think um, in the last slide again i mentioned that we have taken this view in third angle projections and uh, in uh, probably in the next part we will go into the details of the housing in in further details how the other components what should be there uh, in this gearbox so this is this is old drawing as as you find here still it is mentioned that uh, 6310 6309 and 6306 instead of that we have taken 6205 here that is 40 dia in uh, 25 millimeter dia inside and here we have taken 6208 so 40 dia width here and outside diameter is also less less and here we have taken 6209 45 millimeter dia so in this lecture what we have learned in the this first we um, after uh, assembling the drawing i mean so making the sub assembly of the shafts then all calculations if necessary we change the sub assembly we change the drawing accordingly and then we go for uh, little plan drawing and after uh, planning um, or at the beginning of the planning when you choose the upper cover and lower cover or lower housing of the gearbox then uh, we have to think of machining that one these are either made of cast iron or uh, fabricated in any case we have to first machine on the planing machine the surface of uh, upper cover and lower cover and we have to make a marking there for bolt holes we have to make the bolt holes also for the location we have to make the dowel holes and then we can put together we can tighten the bolts and then we can put it into the boring machine for making the holes for bearing seating at two sides also we make the uh, bearing housing outside machining so that the cover can be put there after that the drilling tapping everything is done then that is cleaned and kept aside for the further work so here um, this is just the drawing size uh, have been shown and uh, we have taken the A0 size drawing so that we can make a 1 is to 1 scale. We have used the scale 1 is to 1. This is better, always better if you can draw something 1 is to 1. If you can, if we, if we cannot accommodate all the view in this um, 1 size drawing, then there are two options. You can use uh, other views in other drawing set or else you can take the next scale maybe 1 is to 2 1 is to 2.5 is preferred by some people or 1 is to 5 normally 1 is to 10 is not done for machining unless the it is a huge machine okay so this is the end of uh, this lecture 
and we will go into the next lecture and we will still continue on plan and elevation of this app. So, thank you.